So today I'm going to be doing an 8 mile hike on Mount St. Helens which is the most active volcano in the United States and I'm going to be doing it with complete strangers. If you don't know me, I'm Rachna Gupta. I'm a computer science student, senior studying at UT Dallas, and I'm currently interning at Amazon as a security engineer for the summer. I am in Seattle, Washington, and I've been here for about seven weeks now, and it's been so much fun. But one of my goals for this summer was to push myself beyond my limits and to test my physical strength. Washington is known for the most beautiful hikes and the most scenic landscape, and the views are definitely worth the long hikes it takes to get there. I've never really done a long hike, so today 8 miles is definitely going to be more of a challenge and the fact that I'm doing it with complete strangers is also going to be an interesting experience. It's about 5.30 a.m. right now. I woke up early so that I could pack all the food that I need and all of the things I need to take. But yeah, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know the drill, you know how I always start my mornings. So let's get to some yoga. I'm not going to be able to do all of it in the morning today. So I'm just going to do half of it right now and then come back in the evening and do the rest. But yeah, let's go do that and then pack lunch and all of the stuff I need for my hike. So this is my outfit for the day. I'm wearing a thrifted Reformation sports bra on top and these thrifted cargo pants from ThreadUp. And the pants are really cool. They have this like embroidered dragon pattern on it. They were really unique, which made me want to get them immediately. But yeah, this is my outfit for the hike. And it's always recommended to carry a lot of layers. Today it's gonna be around 60, four degrees on the trail so it is going to be a bit cold. I've carried a light jacket to wear on top of this and also a sweatshirt in case it gets really cold and I'm just gonna put that in my backpack. Okay let's pack some food now. So for breakfast I'm gonna have dosa and sambar and I also made rice last night so that's gonna be lunch for me. I'm gonna heat it up and put it in this thermos flask that I have so hopefully it should stay warm and it's just not super cold when I need to eat it. I met them here at the Mira point. There's like probably yeah, at least 40. 30, 30. Yeah, there's like 40. so many people and we're all trying to figure out who's gonna go with who because there's only a limited number of drivers so they're trying to figure that out. But it looks like everyone has gotten Yeah, everyone's getting into the cars and leaving and we're also gonna leave soon. I think we're gonna stop at Safeway just to get groceries and stuff. Not groceries, get some snacks and then head out.
So we reached the hike entrance and we're trying to find it. We don't know where the rest of the group is, but I think we'll find them. I think we reached pretty early. We have slept like most of the way here. The majestic view of the volcano kept coming in and out of our view as the fog rolled in. I'd never seen anything like this in my life before. The huge valley in front of the mountain was evidence that the eruption that had happened in 1980 left its mark. Ash-colored canyons and ridges snaked through the valley and showed us where the lava flew through. Are you guys excited for the hike? Yeah. How excited? <laughs> it's gonna be fun. And we've started excited to start the hike. The eight miles didn't seem so daunting at all when I saw the beauty of the trail. It was a new landscape, a new experience and completely new people and I was absorbing as much as I could around me. see people hiking all over all right continuing our hike i think we've probably done only 0.5 miles <laughs> careful <laughs> yeah even i have one day Okay, we're confused as to whether we need to go up where they are or continue over here where this trail is going down. And none of us have the maps, so this is great. We don't want to get lost. Look, they're coming this way, so I think we'll just make it out. I think Maybe they're just walking a little back to get the view. Okay. But we got it. It's like yeah, but they're coming down. You know, I think they're coming back. Oh, I think here's the thing. Maybe it's like a loop. You know. Yeah, I think, I think okay. Okay. We shall find out. We have decided to go straight. I don't remember the map specifically. This is scary. Do you want the coal? Thank you so much. Thank you, champion. All the people for coming is champion, okay? <laughs> Very narrow ledge that allows only one person to comfortably pass. Wait, so what was the conclusion? Does this join Harry's We joined ridge? already. Oh, we did? Joined, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah so we did. You saw the place where it met, right? The... Yeah. Don't worry, we are not crossing border to Oregon. <laughs> That's all I was worried Something about. Something happens at the end of the day. As I mentioned, there is some free room in the trunk. Awesome. We can smuggle us across back to Washington, back to Seattle. We've been hiking for two miles and this is the view from a viewpoint. Yep, just two. I'm starting to feel tired. You guys see more of the company. Yeah, we kind of got off trail a bit, but now we're back on the trail and we found the rest of our group. That's for a minute. Solid advice. So that's probably Spirit Lake, which we saw from the viewpoint. Yeah. Hello, hi, I am Ali and I am here on a hike to, I don't know, St. Helens. The interesting thing about that is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's a right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, I feel pretty good. We're probably three miles down. I don't feel too tired. My knees are starting to feel a bit sore, but I got a stick from Manisha because it is getting quite steep in some places to go down, to go up, and 
and I'm trying to go as slow as I can because I don't have hiking shoes and I did not have a stick until a few minutes ago. So we were walking and it suddenly changed to just complete a wet path. You saw it in the reviews? Okay. Yeah. So we have to cross it. Oh, and it's back to being dry again. Me too. Good to go. Oh. <laughs> okay, then let's have the lunch here. It's okay. Yeah. Usually the hike will be like we go to the peak and then see the view. But for us we saw the view already. It's so yeah. Not to be how far away is the point? Final point? Midway point? Yeah, maybe like a five minute break. Huh? No, I'm fine. I feel like the elevation is getting to me now. It's getting harder to climb. I'm going slowly. I have these two keeping me company. This is harder than I thought. We've only oh, been probably hiking for 3.5 miles to, but the incline and the elevation and the narrowness of the um, trails, it's a bit challenging. The last stretch to the midway point was extremely hard for me. Going uphill seemed like torture at that point and I felt like I'd been walking for a very long time. It was so foggy at this point that we couldn't see anything beyond the trail in front of us and it kind of reminded me of a horror movie. But I think all of the adrenaline that I had from seeing all the nature around me kept me going and I was determined to get to the top and have my lunch there. <laughs> We're hiking back now and it feels so much easier because it's just downhill and we don't have to climb up anywhere. This is more chill. Coming live to you from Mount St. Helens. But yeah, I wanted to have this because I'm feeling thirsty. Yeah, I was wondering how much. <laughs> the difference is I don't think they paid for it. Oh shit, it's so good. It's actually really good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You have to the way to Oh I can't see it. But yeah, we're they almost there. On your left. Right there. Oh yeah. Oh, we're almost there. <laughs> oh my god, we finally made it. Yay! We can hear the sounds of the observatory from here, even though we can't see it. Feels so good to be almost done with it. Basically, done with it. And I'm so hungry right now. We burned 1200 calories from our hike today. So I wanna go and eat food now. We can see it. 
Yay! We didn't get lost. We're only like two hours late. <laughs> Later than our group, but you know what? We had a great time. Took in all the views at our own pace. And yeah, had the trail mostly to ourselves. I forgot to film an outro for this video, but this was such a memorable first long hike for me. The camaraderie I made with the people I met, the feeling of accomplishment I felt reaching the top, yet the sense of humbleness looking at how vast everything is. Just spending the day out there in nature was therapeutic, and I felt so vibrant and happy the day after the hike. I'm so grateful I got to do this. I'll end the vlog here, and I'll see you in the next one.